have bone piles everywhere. That is piles of scrap, lumber, in just about every room and in the kitchen. Lots of it leaning against the walls because this is where I did my cutting for this and that and everything. But I had to move my saw horses, which were here, in order to get a stepladder up to put the ceiling box for the kitchen ceiling light up there. And since I had that out of the way, I thought maybe I would finish the patching the subfloor. I have just about put my foot through the floor a few times here. Huh. The one drywall wall that's good enough to keep in this house and I have to knock holes in it for wiring. Here's where that wire came down through the cell beam. And I'm not having to do a lot of drilling down here because after tearing out the old wiring, I'm running the new wire in the same pathways as the old stuff. I'm using the fiberglass boxes for the electrical. I hate plastic, especially blue plastic, especially for an historical house. But when I started, I did use one blue plastic box left from a long time ago. It's right up there. awful one blue plastic box I don't know everybody's got their quirks that's one of mine I guess pet peeve cheap blue plastic in an old house nah they remind me of cheap blue plastic tarps which stand out like a sore thumb wherever you use them <laughs> uh, whatever Everybody's different. So what's the difference? They're all going to be concealed behind the wall, right? Yep. But I'll know they're there. I know what's there. No blue plastic. Except for one. Just for curiosity. I have been at this for two years now. Almost exactly. Wow. Wow. I better slow down or I'm going to get done too soon. Then I'll be looking around for something else to do, I guess. working on my outdoor outlets. Just about 33 degrees down here in the basement and 66% humidity. 
the last cold day of the winter, so they say. I have been at the electrical wiring for a little over a month, working by myself and uh, pulling wire and drilling holes and installing boxes and all that. For those of you who are wondering how I get to pull my own wire and uh, mount my own boxes and do a lot of my own electrical, um, it's kind of unusual what's going on these days. The trades are all really super busy. Well, I've got time and I've got some skills. I had to brush up a little bit on my skills to meet national building code, but uh, I'm doing a lot of the work. Saves me a lot of money, saves the electrician time. He'll come over here and do the final hookup. And uh, that's how it's getting done. There's a lot to it, so don't just dive into something like this without knowing what you're doing. It looks like uh, I just checked the finances, and it looks like uh, I have 25000 that I've put into materials and services in this house, uh, having started two years ago. So right around $1,000 a month is what I'm spending. Uh, my electric permit... <laughs> was $456 just for that one thing. Ouch. <laughs> Here's something I haven't done before. Floor outlets. This is right in the middle of the kitchen. We're planning a kitchen island where this table is, so an outlet in the floor. Right there. And one in the living room next to this big column. because I couldn't run power through that big, oh. Uh, there's that sink again. And now a message from Adventure Bear. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a happy spring.